Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Ghost and Spirits video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's do this whole new series here based on your suggestions. I've seen a few of the suggestions already and I encourage everyone to please continue posting those here. Uh, post the old ones, post the new ones, or whatever you would like, and then that way I can see even more than the ones we have right now. But yes, this one is a newer suggestion and that's why I love doing these videos because when I was reading this information, who knew? that this specialized type of ghost can live within Japanese walls, Japanese sliding doors, and in some cases even the floors themselves so very fascinating stuff it makes you wonder um, when it comes to this ghost how it got there and essentially why it's there not much info related to it but still according to lore this is a creature this is a ghost that you can encounter there in Japan and it has to do with this you're looking at it now very distinct looking it looks like something that should definitely be within the world of Silent Hill it has a unique name it's known as the uh, Moku Mokurin hope I'm saying that correctly but yes this is the creature that will be featured within this Ghosts and Spirits video so what is this Moku Mokurin well again it's a spirit that's found in Japanese mythology who knows how long it's been around apparently it's so uh, at least enough time period that it, again it's part of Japanese mythology if you go by the notion that it was created by a guy named uh, Toriyama Seiken like he was probably one of the first ones that 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 chronicled this this entity then it's at least within the 1700s just to give you an idea and in essence here's what this ghost is and it's quite frightful when you think about it because essentially you'd be living within its confines at all times so essentially you take a Japanese home here's a, like an example of a picture of it like I guess the most token example of it and whenever you go to this home and you look at this classic example here you'll notice that they have these very distinct paper sliding walls there's an official term for these walls it's known as the shoji and I've seen them before in movies I've even seen them before kind of made fun of like in the Simpsons world there was an episode where Homer just kept instead of sliding those walls open he just kept running through them or walking through them oblivious to what he was doing and then uh, as they've also been depicted in other forms like in comic books and then other items too but yes this Japanese paper sliding wall it basically consists of bamboo or another type of wood and then laminating it are these special paper and so the whole idea is it creates more space it looks great and it just simply uh, it looks very it's it's part of in this case the Japanese uh, model uh, and this uh, the home of itself but yes however this thing then gets within those walls it lives there this creature this ghost and the way it works is it just basically lives within that paper and it makes its residence within that home so you could be within the room and then if there's certain portions featuring torn paper which kind of makes sense because it's paper after all I mean how hard would it be to keep it pristine eventually you'll get to a point where that paper starts wilting or it starts uh, shred uh, you know essentially having holes on its own or from people bumping into it objects uh, accidentally being bumped into it whatever is the case but whenever that happens then this creature will start making its presence known and the way you see it is basically you start seeing eyes yes human eyes from the actual holes themselves so the more holes that appear within this Japanese sliding wall made out of paper then the more eyes you start seeing and these eyes do indeed watch you the whole notion is that they that the name Moku Mokurin means essentially many eyes or continuous eyes meaning they're always gonna be there watching you and it, it makes it seem very frightful I mentioned earlier that this is something like straight out of Silent Hill because it, it, in those levels whenever you go into certain rooms you can feel something is there um, the, the makers made it so beautiful because you could you could uh, hear stuff there's a continuing sound or there's continuing shadow presence other items depending on the game such is the case it seems like here you walk into this room and let's say it houses unknown Mokumokuren 
then you'll be able to see it or if you don't see it you can still feel its presence it's the closest thing there considered to be a haunted home i guess even that may be their notion essentially of a haunted home and if you wanted to to, to hear the other ways that this thing can haunt those locations is not just through the sliding doors no they also can be found here they're known as the tatami floor mats which also make up a very classic token uh, Japanese home and then on the bottom if, if I don't know how those eyes get there as well but I guess through the cracks or through torn items or drawn uh, torn places in the map those eyes also make their presence known and then lastly within traditional walls too because these Japanese homes they're not just made completely out of paper no like uh, everywhere no obviously like the outside it will be made more of a traditional wall in order to ensure that they can last the test of time all the weather conditions so they're made for more in traditional walls but yes this thing will also this this ghost will live within those walls too so imagine that imagine being in one of these haunted homes it's reported to have a mokumokurin you're gonna see it in three close locations close by locations always within you and the way that the story goes is you're not really supposed to stay within a home that houses one of these things and there's a good reason for it those eyes don't just come out of nowhere the whole notion is if you know and this is based on legends that surrounding this ghost or spirit if you know that you happen to be in a home containing this spirit and you decide to stay within that house then it if you don't get out of there and you basically ignore all the warnings associated around it then if you sleep and you wake up there's a good chance that you'll discover that your eyes are gone because this thing this entity it essentially takes your eyes and then adds them to its collection so you'll become a yet another set of eyes within that haunted wall creepy when you think about it I mean there there's a part also on Silent Hill Revelations a good movie by the way I mean I know it's it's been lambasted but I still like it and uh, I thought it was a good sequel but there's a there's a monster within it something that uh, captures girls and then makes parts of the girls become its next part of its mannequin monster like body so I could totally imagine something like this where this these set of eyes all they are are past victims men women whatever and they take this thing whatever it is takes these eyes and then just adds them to the collection and it just can you continues thing outward now if you wanted to actually make sure that you can stop this haunting there is a way to do it all you have to do it seems easy enough you just patch up the holes within those three things so it could be either the Japanese paper sliding wall or it could be the floor mats or it could be the walls themselves if you have a presence of this mokumokurin and you see these eyes all you have to do then afterward is just patch those holes up and then that's it and I don't think it'll actually stop it outright but at least it prevents it from causing you any harm because I didn't read anywhere about let, let's say doing like the classic exorcism or doing some other ritual something that would prevent this thing from even being there anymore but it just seems like if you wanted to at least prevent it from causing you harm then that's all you have to do but pretty creepy uh, I wonder if there's any homes out there in Japan today that are confirmed to have this Mokumokurin and if so if they become almost like a, a famous not landmark but a famous location to for people to travel to so, so that way they can take ghost tours or they can have some something like a overnight experience to try to see if they could capture something related to this footage very very fascinating stuff but that's it that's all the information associated with this mokuma crew and if anybody has anything else any other info that you wanted to add please post those comments below anybody there from japan anybody around that area knows friends family members that know of this ghost or spirit that happens to wander within these homes and live within these walls please post those comments below in a way I think it's actually more scarier to have this like let's say this ever present surrounding you in terms of those four walls because it seems like it'll always just 
be there. Like you cannot have this thing leave you, uh, leave you unalone. And as opposed to let's say here in America, where you have like a traditional ghost, a traditional in quotations, where it's like making its appearance every now and then. Maybe there's just a quick blur and then it disappears. But no, this having something like this just constantly be there. It just makes it seem more scary to me. So, all right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care.